If you play Pet Simulator 99, you know we are experiencing massive inflation right now, and it is becoming a big problem for a lot of people. It seems like prices only keep going up every day, even when we think we've reached the peak. However, there's no need to be scared. In this video, I'm going to go over exactly why we are experiencing this inflation and things that you can do to keep making diamonds during these hard times. Inflation it should only be an opportunity for you to make even more diamonds and should not be feared. And you must take advantage of this time before it's gone. If this video helps you out, please leave a like on the video and make sure you are subscribed as well as commenting your Roblox username down below to be entered in for the giveaway. This information is very important, so I'm going to get right to it. First up, starting with the reasons for inflation. As you guys know, the current clan battle involves collecting the most unique pets in your inventory. And this is the number one cause for why inflation is going so crazy right now. People are going around and buying all of the cheap pets just so they can give them to their clan members and gain as much points as possible for this event. Doing so is driving up demand like crazy and therefore the prices are also going crazy. This issue is a self-fulfilling prophecy as people get scared that prices are just going to keep going up. So they, they start buying things at high prices, which basically just drives up the price itself. Because of this, we can expect that the prices are going to keep going up until the clan event is over. But after the clan event, people are going to begin panic selling. And we will probably experience a, another big price drop like we did in the last update. Another reason people think that inflation is going so crazy right now is because big games has increased the super diamond pack. I believe it was 5 million before and now it is 20 million. So that is quite a big jump. But I do not think this is actually the reason for inflation. I think most pay to win people are not even buying this in the first place. So I don't think this has any effect. While this increase of the super diamond pack has correlated almost directly with the rise of prices in the trading plaza. Correlation is not causation just because this happened at the same time does not mean it caused the increased prices. 90% of the people that are paying to win in Pet Simulator 99 are purchasing things like these exclusive eggs and selling them at the trading plaza. People that buy these emoji eggs are getting more than three times the value from just buying these packs over something like this super diamond pack. So I don't think this has as big of an effect as people might think. The pet simulator economy moves a lot more based on demand and supply. So that is something to consider. While the price of all the pets is going up, all the prices of items are actually going down at the same time. Because of this, we know it's not just a natural inflation from them increasing the diamond pack in the exclusive shop. As you guys can see, the regular Happy Rock is now selling for 11.8 million wrap, which is just insane. From just like four or five days ago, the price of the Happy Rock has basically doubled. As you can see here, the huge Hell Rock is selling for 14 million. That's double the price it was a few days ago. But then you come over here and you look at these secret keys, which are now selling for 112K. So the price of the secret keys have actually gone down in half. Other things like the enchantment books have all gone down in price as well significantly. A lot of these books are now just a quarter of the price they were at the beginning of this update. Meanwhile, the diamond chest and the chest mimic have gone up as well as the massive comet and the lucky block. There's a big conspiracy that the next clan battle is going to have to do with Lucky Blocks. So a ton of people are buying this book, but I'm pretty sure that is just a myth. So I wouldn't go out and spend all of your gems on something like this. But there is a strong chance that they add some new enchantment books to the game. So it's pretty likely that they remove the Diamond Chest Mimic as well as the Massive Comet from the shop. So the prices of these are going up naturally because of that. As well as the rare books that you can't get anymore are obviously still going up naturally. Like the chest mimic which is now a whopping 44 million diamonds. So the reason for a lot of this deflation is because of the super drops game pass. Has now made a lot of these drops super easy to get. And people are just getting them from grinding like they usually do overnight. So naturally as supply goes up and demand doesn't go up the price is going to drop. And that is the reason we're seeing massive inflation with items. Meanwhile, we're experiencing 
insane inflation with with huges and stuff like that. Because the demand for huges and exclusives have gone up significantly, that's why that inflation is there and we're not seeing that for the more common items. But over time, we are going to see natural inflation because everybody who's grinding the game is just getting stronger and stronger over time. And it's going to be able to just grind more each night that they play. So naturally, we are going to see some inflation, but what you have seen this week is not natural. We can also see a natural deflation of the new items that we received in the latest update. So pretty much everything that dropped in the latest update is now lowering in price as people realize that it's not as good as they thought. So we see that with things like the piñata, the lucky block, the daycare pass, secret keys, and mini chests. As well as all of these new charms are just plummeting in price. Nobody wants any of these. Somehow the XP charm is only 12,000 diamonds. I don't understand why big games just adds these useless charms to the game and then they just end up going super down in price and just become overall useless. I do like the TNT charm. It is my favorite of the new ones, but... It's very sad to see, but obviously the overload charm is always going to be valuable because it just adds those slots for your huges. So that's always good, but I, that doesn't really count. So as you guys can see, I actually have a lot of diamonds on my account. I've been doing a ton of selling here at the trading plaza. Inflation has been really good for me. All right, so there are a few strategies for making a lot of diamonds during inflation times like this. One strategy I've been doing personally is I had a ton of these golden huge hell rocks. And with the unnatural inflation we've been seeing, I've actually been able to find some golden huges that sell for at the same price or under the price of this of the hell rock. Because the huge hell rock has the most that exists, as you can see, 552,000. This is always going to be the bottom line cheapest huge that we can get at the moment. So once inf so once this inflation goes down after the clan event, you can expect that the huge hell rocks are going to go back down to being the cheapest price. But in the meantime, you're going to be able to find some deals for other huges that aren't going to go down as much as the hell rock. For example, something that's selling below the huge hell rock golden price at the moment is the pineapple cat. The huges that are selling under the wrap of the hell rock are going to change constantly. So this is just something you're going to have to check. This is just what it is in the moment. Other huges that are at the same price are often like the peacock. The peacock's selling for a little more now. The pterodactyl, 14.9, so like 0.9 million more. You're just going to have to scroll through and honestly just find them. Because the Hell Rock is the most traded one, it's the quickest one that's actually going up in price. So a lot of the other ones that don't have as much quantity are getting left in the dust and people often forget that they should be overcharging for those huges instead. As you guys can see, we found another one. The Painted Cat is pretty much at the same price range as something as the Hell Rock. So if you have a Hell Rock, it'd be a good idea to go and try to sell it and then find one of these and buy that. Because when inflation goes back down, this painted cat is going to be worth more than the hell rock. Because there's only 32,000 of these compared to the 500,000 hell rocks that there are. Another one that's forgotten about is actually this huge pix pixel cat. As you can see, it's 14.1 million. So it's only 100,000 more than the hell rock. And this is going to be worth a whole lot more than the hell rock once prices get back to a normal level. Obviously, it's going to be kind of hard to find these, but we're going to go look and see if we could find a good deal for something like this. So yeah, this guy's obviously just overcharging like crazy for everything, so there's not even a point to looking at that one. Another strategy I like to do is I'll go through and I'll look at some item databases like 123 Demands just to see how much some of these huges that I don't really see that often uh, used to be, and then I compare the price to now. I'm just trying to upgrade my overall team. As you guys could see, I used to have all golden huge hell rocks and now i have a more diverse team that's going to be worth actually a lot more this alone is like 38 million and i've also been using this opportunity of inflation to sell my huges that have charms that i don't like so for example because this huge happy rock has a bonus charm on it i will probably try to sell it and then buy something else that's at the same price range like something like this huge jolly narwhal just because the bonus charm is just basically useless and prices are so crazy right now it's just a good time overall to sell 
We can only assume that the update's gonna be this Saturday because it has been three weeks. Also, the clan battle is ending soon as well. This is leading a lot of people to believe that the update is gonna be this Saturday. It is my personal belief that this inflation is just temporary and once the clan battle ends, we're going to see massive price drops. While I am flipping stuff to make diamonds in the meantime, I am going to be keeping a large amount of diamonds to purchase stuff after the prices start falling. Once the first people start selling after the clan battle, everybody's going to get really scared and start selling off all their pets and it's just going to cause prices to really plummet. So... Being able to have a whole ton of diamonds ready for when those prices do fall is going to be a great strategy. But to be fair, this is just my belief and the prices could just keep going up forever. Who knows? That's why in the meantime, you're going to want to start buying and selling things and flipping things to make as much diamonds as you can. Some of the things I'm investing in because I believe the update's going to come this Saturday. People love to buy coin potions at the beginning of each update. So I'm buying a ton of coin potions that are super cheap right now. As well, I've bought another diamond chest mimic because I believe they're going to add a new enchant in this next update and take this out of the exclusive shop, which is going to cause the price to inflate like crazy. Plus, this enchant is actually really good overall. So even if the price doesn't go up like crazy, I'm still going to be using this enchant chance so it's not a big loss either way another thing you might want to consider is getting something like the massive comet because this enchant is really good and if they do remove it from the shop it's also going to go up a lot in price as well as it might be a good idea to pick up some of these exclusive boards if you do see them in the shop personally i don't know much about the boards, so i don't invest in any of this stuff Another theory I have is actually that they might add tier 8 enchants to the game. So I've actually been investing in a ton of these tier 7 books as well as tier 6 books. It hopes that they add a tier 8 and the value of these will skyrocket. With the new super drops update, people are able to get these just from random breakables. So the price of these has plummeted. But if there's a use for combining them to get tier 8 enchants, people are going to start buying these up. So I'm strategically investing in books like these. This is more on the risky side. This is just kind of a, this is a prediction that I'm making, but I just thought I'd share with you guys just in case it does end up working and you guys can make some profits with me. Big Games hasn't said a day on when the update's going to come, but I can only assume that it's going to be this Saturday because it has been three weeks. It feels like it's been a while since the last update, so I just hope the update is coming soon. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and comment your Roblox username down below for the giveaway. Also comment down below what you think about inflation and what is causing all of this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.